Welcome to another episode of the Alpha Labs. Uh, before I'm gonna start, I'm gonna just say that I didn't really like all the negative comments on the previous video about loudspeaker cables. Uh, if that's the way uh, where this is heading, I'm definitely gonna stop this series because yeah, I I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing this to help some people getting gaining some insight in, uh, in, in, in the more complex stuff of hi-fi. This is not a scientific research video at all. It's just a quick and dirty test to show you the influence of power conditioners, cables, DACs, stuff like that. They're just for fun. If you're here to uh, vent your opinion, uh, well, I'm just gonna say, please go somewhere else. Uh, I'm not really waiting for that. So, with that said, I'm going to show you the influence of some power conditioners again, because there were some people that asked about the influence of uh, parallel filters, you know, these filter plugs. And what one or two... Or oh, ow! <laughs> that was still <laughs> charged. <laughs> There's a capacitor inside, and that really hurts. Um, they want to know the influence of one or two or three of those plugs. And, uh, well, I would like to help with that uh, by showing you the influence and the pros and cons. Um, so, I try to um, create something uh, that is able to show the influence of these uh, parallel filters uh, pretty easily. I use the AC generator for a baseline measurement and I can influence the noise with my function generator. So I set up a white noise signal, 200 millivolts, it will be amplified by the AC generator. And the output of the AC generator will go into a transformer that will make from uh, 10 volts from the 230 volts that goes in. If I would plug it in directly, I would definitely blow up my prism. Uh, so I need a transformer. The bandwidth of the transformer is at least 300 kilohertz, so it won't influence the measurement at all. If you think this is dirty, um, no, it does. It is not really, actually. If I would plug it in the wall, uh, you will see that the noise is higher, at least. Well, not, not this. This is probably some crossover distortion in the AC generator or maybe influence from the function generator. But yeah, aside from that, you can see it's 20 to 60 decibels less uh, noise. And it's not that bad actually uh, in the factory. It's, um, I, we have our own power group and um, it's not, not that bad. So, with that said, I made a copy already. As you can see, this is the baseline. Uh, it's right here. And let's plug in one of those parallel filters and see what happens. Well, it does go down. I mean, this spike is less. And here we see some well, 5 dBs, I think. No, this is 10 dBs. This is, uh, I'll show you. Let's zoom in a little bit. As you can see, well, around 10k it will start filtering and it will get rid of some spikes and stuff like that. So, they do work. Well, if I copy this and let's plug in another one and see what happens. Well, the effect is, whoa, okay, I thought it was less, but it's quite the same actually. It works in, uh, in tandem. And it does actually work. So we can see that it, the noise floor is going down a little bit more. So we went from minus 95 to around 115. That's 20 decibels. Yeah, so you can get rid 10 dB per plug approximately uh, with high spikes. And it will drop your noise floor from minus 100 to minus 115. So that's 15 decibels, 7 dB per plug around. I'm not gonna touch those pins again. <laughs> really hurts. So let's see what a isoplug will do. Yeah, it's around the same effect as the uh, camp. That's pretty funny to see. They're, they're, quite, they're quite similar. 
so if I pick this one and this, uh, no, sorry, this one and uh, this one, yeah, very comparable. So the ISO plug and the camp pretty much do the same. I noticed in a listening test that the camp sounds really nice and the ISO plug as well. They have a slight uh, different signature, but they're very much uh, comparable. So if I switch this on again and look at the whole graph again and let's see what happens when I use a other conditioner like you know the box this is parallel this is serial because this is a transformer going in there uh, this is a transformer let's see what happens it's definitely lower yeah it's lower again but not with the spike right here that's pretty much the same as the uh, two plugs in tandem so we have a little bit more filtering going on here uh, if I look at this that will drop your noise floor with uh, let's say it's 100 and this is 120 20 decibels yeah it's quite the same as I measured before in another test so that that's about right but if we look at the filter slopes um, most of these plugs will start working around 10k they don't do a lot no 8k they don't do a lot below that 10,000 Hertz in the noise spectrum so uh, if you want if you need more then you need uh, a power conditioner like this because this will start lower in the spectrum now I'm curious what will happen when I plug in an amplifier what will that do to the noise floor so let's go back this is not really scripted as you noticed <laughs> uh, let's get the amplifier in Let's pick our baseline. There we are. Uh, it should be the same as this. Yeah, it's exactly the same as this. People wanted to see if they were, uh, if I could show you the measurements again. Well, this is the noise floor. And what will happen if I plug in an amplifier? This is the Fossi Audio. Um, it's not really a clean amplifier at all yeah it's on so what happens as you can see uh, yeah wow we gained a lot of noise right in the mid-range noisy mid-range yeah now this is not really nice to have near your system because you can see uh, it creates a uh, shitload of harmonics and they increased the noise weird enough by around well this is 85 and this is 70 15 decibels in some cases that's a lot and this is and uh, yeah this is also 15 so it amplifies some noise by 15 decibels and decibels is a logarithmic skill so that's a lot uh, to to have in your system now let's see what happens if we plug in some um, parallel filters do you think it will be cancelled out let's see that didn't do anything at all nothing it's exactly the same as we had before so these parallel filters uh, will not help you 
getting rid of all this noise and in some cases they uh, increase even because this was the noise without and this is with no 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 that's not right no 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 yeah green is with yeah that's actually weird it didn't do anything at all and in some cases they even went higher than before because it's you get reflections and stuff like that a, a conditioner is um, should get rid of all the noise but it can't it can't absorb the noise it just needs to shift it somewhere so you can see that in some cases you get reflections so you get dips in one range and you get uh, peaks in another range and in this case you can see that actually um, but so this doesn't work at all I can show you uh, what it does when uh, now it drops back as you can see well, it should be because <laughs> if you can reproduce it it's not real and uh, this is the uh, isotech and it's the same it, they don't work in this frequency range but what will this thing do I'm curious what will that thing do and let's get this in and see where we are yeah that's perfectly fine it's lower than uh, the baseline so it's filtering right there but what happens when we plug in this amplifier ooh now it's worse now this is a really weird effect but I already uh, suspected it a little bit to be honest um, because uh, this is what it was and this is what it is now yeah yeah you get some reflections uh, because it's a, it's a transformer and it um, the noise should be going somewhere and if you have a transformer in line with a switch mode power supply in some cases you get reflections it will amplify the noise a little bit but it drops in the uh, higher frequencies significantly as you can see the, the big question is of course uh, is this audible I think it is I think it will mess up your mid-range uh, significantly so you shouldn't be using this um, inside that power conditioner you should use it in the wall uh, because this already is uh, a kind of a filter and you can put that noise on the grid without any issues because this amplifier will not be benefiting from this power conditioner at all because there's a power brick in between so don't use filters of uh, power bricks like this or switch mode power supplies inside this filter this should be for your preamp for your CD player for your uh, sources that have a linear power supply and then you won't be messing up this uh, region at all but it's an interesting effect and you can only know and see it when you start measuring it okay I forgot one test I wanted to show you uh, so I'm gonna paste this in between so don't be uh, surprised if this uh, transition <laughs> is a little bit weird but I wanted to show you how effective these uh, power conditioners can, can get rid of extra noise I'm adding to the signal so this is the baseline we already have should be the same as this yeah it's exactly the same so I'm gonna add some noise it's white noise 200 millivolts amplified by the AC generator so you can see it increases significantly uh, with uh, 20 decibels ah, 20, yeah 20 something uh, this is the same I'm not sure why that's probably crossover distortion in the AC generator or something but let's see what um, happens I made a copy again let's see what happens when I add of one of these and you can see it only drops a little bit after 10,000 Hertz and it's about it's about the same 
but it doesn't do anything below 9000 Hertz. Absolutely nothing. So now I'm going to add another one. And you can probably yeah, see what happens. Uh, two of them are pretty effective. I mean, this spike is pretty much gone. That's impressive. And now let's see what happens when I use this one. Now that is definitely more effective than the other one because as you can see it starts earlier around uh, 4000 Hertz and it drops also a lot lower. So use these with other components with linear power supplies that you want to protect from the grid but don't put noisy stuff inside a uh, filter with a toroidal transformer. Doesn't really like that. I hope you like these kinds of tests. Uh, like I said, be polite in the uh, comments please. We like feedback but we don't like um, people that are just rude and say we are a complete bunch of idiots. I know I'm an idiot. I like to do stuff like this but uh, I'm a human being as well. So please be polite in the comments and we can uh, do more stuff like this in the Alpha Labs. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.